Meghan Markle has compared pregnancy to having jet lag after wowing crowds on Bondi Beach, Sydney. The Duchess of Sussex gave an insight into her pregnancy during an anti-bad vibe circle hosted by mental health campaign group One Wave. Meghan, 37, spoke with 35-year-old Charlotte Connell who is much further along the line at 23 weeks pregnant, about how motherhood has had her waking up at 4.30 a.m. to do yoga. Ms. Connell said, Meghan told me that pregnancy was like having jet lag. She said she was up at 4.30 a.m. this morning doing yoga in her room as she couldn't sleep. It's a bit of a double whammy for her, she said, as she has both the baby and the jet lag to contend with. We both talked about how you feel jet lagged even though you have not traveled anywhere. Even in her jet lag, she got up to do yoga this morning at 4.30 a.m. Physical activity like yoga and surfing is so good for healing your mind. Mental health is something Prince Harry has spoken out on and is a keen campaigner to help raise awareness. Meghan and Harry listened to the group for 10 minutes and shared their own personal experiences with the illness to the local community surfing group. In a statement Kensington Palace said, to turn the tide on stigma surrounding mental health issues, one wave is encouraging people to share their experiences of living with mental health issues and the power of opening up using. Dabri Eulick Whale 37, who took part in the session was full of praise for the relatable royal couple. She said, Oh my goodness, they were just so real, so relatable. They shared their own experiences, which was amazing. Shortly after Meghan and Harry had a go at waxing a surfboard as they dipped their toes in the sand at the famous Australian beach, Meghan wore a sleeveless Martin Grant dress with espadrille tie wedges with a garland of flowers around her neck whilst Harry wore a light blue shirt, beige trousers and espadrilles. The pair are currently on day four of their whirlwind 16-day tour of Australia, Fiji, Tonga, and New Zealand. Tomorrow the royal couple will be on Cockatoo Island where they will be watching the Invictus Games, a competition created by Prince Harry which will see 18 nations represented. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were caught up in a mid-air scare when their private jet was hit by lightning, it has been reported. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex were travelling to an opening party in Amsterdam last month when the luxury Dassault Falcon 7X was reportedly struck. According to the Mail on Sunday, a bolt of lightning struck the nose cone, narrowly avoiding the navigation equipment. Around 30 million volts surged through the plane's fuselage. After the dramatic scare, the plane, which would have set the Duke and Duchess back around £20,000 for a return flight to Amsterdam, managed to land safely at Schiphol Airport. The aircraft was grounded for more than a week as it underwent repairs and safety checks, according to airport sources. It's thought the couple flew from London Oxford Airport, which is just over 10 miles from their Cotswolds home, to attend the three-day, star-studded party in Amsterdam. The celebrations saw the Duke and Duchess of Sussex enjoy a weekend of sightseeing, eating and drinking to celebrate Soho House founder Nick House's 55th birthday and the opening of the latest branch of his exclusive members club chain. They joined celebrities including Jenny Coleman, Michael McIntyre, Eddie Redmayne and Nick Grimshaw for the occasion. During the weekend, Meghan and Harry were also regularly spotted with Marcus Anderson consultant to Soho House and close friends to the former Suits actress. It was well-connected, Marcus, 37, who is thought to have been the potential matchmaker between Meghan and Harry, and who regularly organized private rooms for the couple at various Soho House branches when they were dating. A Buckingham Palace spokesman declined to comment. Meghan Markle may have told Princess Anne the exciting news that she is pregnant at Princess Eugenie's wedding in this touching moment. The Duchess of Sussex and Princess Anne sat next to each other in St. George's Chapel and they appeared to be having a warm and friendly chat before the ceremony started. However, now that Meghan, 37, and Prince Harry, 34, have announced they are expecting their first child it seems there is more to this conversation than just small talk. In one moment, 
Princess Anne looks down at Meghan's stomach as her coat was unbuttoned. Then in another moment the Queen's daughter makes gestures with her hands. Meghan copies the hand gestures as the pair giggle. It is unclear what they were talking about but it was speculated that the conversation was more telling after today's baby announcement. Charlie Proctor, the editor-in-chief of Royal Central, tweeted the video and said, I didn't want to say anything at the time because I know how annoying the rumor mill is, but Meghan's conversation with Princess Anne suddenly makes a lot more sense now. And looking at her stomach, the hand movements etc. Hashtag Royal Baby. One Twitter user responded speculating the hand gestures were referencing how big Zara Tindall was when she was pregnant. They said, no wonder the Princess Royal looked at Meghan so warmly, and I wonder if it was Zara or Peter that was that big. Another user said it makes sense now that Princess Anne was looking at Meghan's stomach. They added, that's also why her coat was open. Royal fans had wildly speculated that the Duchess's outfit on Friday was a major hint she was pregnant. She looked stunning in a Givenchy dress, finished with a hat by Noel Stewart and Pippa Small jewelry but also wore a loose-fitting and long navy coat. The covered-up look is in complete contrast from sleek dresses she has been pictured wearing at a number of events recently. Royal fans flocked to Twitter and speculated that Meghan might be expecting her first child with Harry. One tweeted, something about Meghan's outfit choice makes me think she's pregnant and hiding a baby bump. It's so conservative. Another wrote, I have a feeling Meghan is pregnant. She's glowing and her face looks fuller to me. Can't wait for them to announce it. One tweet read, Meghan Markle is definitely pregnant. My psychic intuition does not lie and that long coat is rather suspicious. Kensington Palace had remained tight-lipped on growing speculation that Meghan is pregnant until now. Meghan Markle, 37, and Prince Harry, 33, have announced the Duchess is pregnant. The news was announced on Monday. What were the body language clues and signs the couple were expecting? Meghan Markle and Prince Harry will soon have another member of their royal family as the couple announced they are expecting a baby. The news broke on Monday morning, and Kensington Palace wrote on Twitter, Their Royal Highnesses the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are very pleased to announce that the Duchess of Sussex is expecting a baby in the spring of 2019. The couple's child will have Kate Middleton and Prince William's children Prince George, 5, Princess Charlotte, 3, and Prince Louis, born in April, as cousins. Many had suspected the pregnancy in the past weeks, but now an expert has revealed the telltale signs Meghan was expecting. Body language expert Judy James told Express.co.uk the body language clues we all missed. She claimed the best clues could be seen on September 20, when Meghan was launching a project. She said, the most comprehensive clues that Meghan might be pregnant came when she was launching the Grenfell cookbook. The Duchess's mother came into town, and she, Meghan and Harry attended the launch together. Judy said, firstly there was her mother Doria, arriving from the U.S. to temporarily take Harry's place at her daughter's side as mothers tend to do when there's a first baby on the way, looking proud and protective and leaving a rather bashful-looking Harry following along behind. Meghan put an arm over her stomach, a move Judy said was rather revealing. She said, then there was the way that Meghan performed a very telling gesture as she walked from the car, placing an arm across her stomach area in a reflective act of protection and masking. She was clearly keen to keep the pregnancy a secret but this body language giveaway showed where her real focus was at the time. Her doting husband Prince Harry also gave off some body language signals that a baby was on the way. Judy said, interestingly, Harry used the same gestural tell. As he walked behind his wife his hand also performed an act of subliminal mimicry, rising to his waistband in an act of empathetic thinking that many new fathers will use. The way they interacted with one another was also a big sign, Judy explained. Harry and Meghan's touch rituals had also changed dramatically recently, she said. Their PDAs and tie signs had usually involved Meghan touching Harry's back or patting or stroking his arm to suggest reassurance affection and steering. Suddenly though it was Harry doing all the protective touches, 
placing a hand on his wife's back or an arm around her waist in rituals of loving concern. Fashion fans may have noticed Meghan's wardrobe changing, which Judy also pointed out. She said, Meghan's clothing style changed too, from the sleeker figure hugging fashions or the chic masculine tailoring complete with wide, tight statement belts to tops with frills or peplums to cover her stomach or that beautiful coat she wore to Eugenie's wedding with the lower buttons left undone for comfort. Meghan Markle's baby bump was on show in a green dress. <laughs> Let's <laughs> go.